All right, everybody, listen up. CDR, that is Compact Disc Recordables. There is a problem with them. I have discs that don't have any scratches on them. I have treated them very well. I very rarely played them. They've been kept in a climate-controlled environment. But due to their age, they have created issues. And I'm going to play two samples of what CDR disc rot sounds like. Funny thing happened to me on the way to the show. Um... You hear that delay and like, I don't know what way to describe it, but it sounds like... That is on a lot of my older recordings that I'm ripping right now because I am archiving all of my old stuff to Blu-ray disc, and all of my data is fine for the most part. I had one corrupted zip file, and guess how I was able to open it? By downloading old software to unzip the files, and it worked. (laughs) So the file wasn't really corrupt. The program that I'm using in 2019 just could not support it for whatever reason. Anyway... Let me show you one more example, and I will have to only play a little bit of this because it's a music file, but you can really hear it in this one. Again. So it's like that static sound. And yeah. My advice to you, number one, If you're going to burn CDRs, and in this case, I'm talking about Redbook, CD Audio, so that you can play it on a CD player, you definitely need to save another copy as data. Heck, on some discs, you can have a data part, so you can save FLAC files in a mixed mode type of CD, but in this day and age, CDRs are cheap, Blu-rays are cheap-ish, You know, we're talking $100 for the drive and less than 50 cents per Blu-ray disc recordable. And the more expensive ones, I mean, they're expensive, but they're supposed to last for 100 to 1,000 years. Who knows if they'll actually last that long. But anyway, the bottom line is, guys, if you have old discs like I do, you need to transfer them as soon as possible Otherwise, you'll get this. Those are data errors, and I don't know if those can be fixed. I know that I can't fix them with the software that I have. Like I said, luckily, a lot of what I have is data. I have ISO files, image files, I have zip files, I have WAV files, I have APE, that's monkey audio files, I have FLAC files. So... Those are all fine. It's the Red Book recorded stuff that's giving me a problem. And yes, if I play this on a regular CD player, it sounds the same. I can't just hook it up to the ID14 audio interface and have it work that way. No, this is actually on the playback. And yeah, disc rot. I'll call it disc rot. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if this video was informative, please give it a thumbs up. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.